see me coming like a tornado. I'm precious. This is my husband, Miles, and he's pregnant. Popped. The oh. masculine version of pregnant. We're having a baby. <laughs> Miles and I are a trans family. I identify as a trans woman, and Miles identifies as a trans man. I was, can I have those shoes? In some sense, it upsets me that I can't physically carry a child, but my husband can. I think Miles is handsome in, in this state, and he's, he's glowing, and... It's a very masculine glow, though. It's glow. a very masculine glow. <laughs> For the past couple of months, I've been meeting with the doctor just because of my short cervix, but I can still go into labor at any time. So going out in public, when Precious is with me, I, I feel a lot more at ease. Oh, that's cute, let's see. So I'm currently eight months pregnant, and we do know the gender of the baby. We're having a little girl, and I'm gonna name her Zane. Zane means grace in Arabic. This is so cute, I can't wait to dress her. Well, what if she's these... a little tomboy? Then she can wear the, the little there fire engines. This okay. is so cute. Today will be one of the worst days of my life. I've gone to a store, and as I exit the store, I'm surrounded by six or seven Chicago police officers. And then they handcuffed me. So I start yelling at the top of my lungs, please be gentle, because I'm pregnant. I still can't believe I got arrested because they thought my baby bump was clothes that I had hid. The one guy says, he has something underneath his shirt. He has something underneath his shirt. So the white female officer, she lifts my shirt up and like you can hear like this gasp of, oh, like this person like really is like pregnant. And they felt so bad for safety precautions. I'm going to be induced early since I do have a short cervix. I'm so glad that Dr. Barton has arranged his situation so it can be a controlled environment. I am extremely nervous about giving birth. You know, as a trans man, often I cover my body, you know, with multiple layers and things to protect my body from the outside world. So I'm just really nervous to be so exposed to the world, a room full of people. Let's go. Baby, here we come. We're at nine and a half centimeters and the doctor is gonna come back in about an hour and it's gonna be time for Miles to push. I'm just happy to be in this moment. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad like, we made it, you know? This is a scary pregnancy, but... So yeah. all this is gonna come up? Oh, all this is gonna come up? Right, right, because we've gotta be able to see what we're doing and then we'll get to push it. Just think about pushing. Zane out, okay? With everything that you have, okay? Bear down, push to the ceiling, okay? You are having a contraction right now. Do you wanna push, Miles? All right, push, Miles? All right. You okay? Yeah. Go. Big breath in and hold it. Nice big deep breath in. And push. Go, go, go. Two, push. Go, go. Three, go. three, everything. four, everything. five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful job, Miles. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. I feel so bad because I can see that Miles is extremely uncomfortable. You're doing a great job. He's feeling sick as he's doing this, but he's continuing to labor through. Push, push, two, you got this. Push down, push down, honey. Push down. Good job. Seven, eight, nine, ten. One more, one more big one. 
Big Take this one, push down. Three, four, five, six, One more big one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. As soon as I see the baby, instantly like my life changes. I see the most beautiful baby I've ever seen. That's her whole baby. You did that. You're gonna go see daddy now. Yeah. Hey. Hello. She's got my hair. <laughs> That's my hair. She's like, oh, she's just beautiful. Oh, she's just in bliss. She loves her dad. I am taking in our newborn and I'm wanting her to feel my love. This is the most beautiful moment in my life. I feel changed to have had that experience. I love you, son.